looks at a camp that turns people into husks and goes, yeah, I want to help with that. Same guy that lets Cerberus stick Reaper tech into Commander, his Commander, it seems Tally's taking what happened on Horizon hard. She's in the lounge if you want to check on her. The Alliance has issued warnings about Sanctuary. Cerberus bastards. Horizon was my home. Just tell me you're going to take Cerberus down. Cerberus is already dead. They just don't know it yet. And when their base is nothing but a smoking crater, Remember that you're the one who helped us find them. Thanks. I can't believe the elusive man really found a way to control the Reapers. I mean, he's still fucking crazy, but damn. Imagine if he was on our side. But I guess that's exactly what the Reapers want. Get us all fighting each other. Divide and conquer. Exactly. Just one more reason to hate them. got word from Miss Sato. She arrived at the Alliance Research Facility safe and sound. Yeah, and Esteban got to play hero with the damsel in distress. You know me and my damsels, Mr. Vega? That I do. Done something that meets your approval? Liara told me about your talk with her. It made her feel better. When we fought the Reapers, the feelings of one soldier did not matter. But you had decades to become numb to what was happening. It is the only means of survival. Maybe. But I don't see how anyone can ignore the things we saw at Sanctuary. It's easy when you've seen far worse. I'm sorry you had to. Your sympathy is not necessary, Quarian, but it is appreciated. Your species always was emotional. We believed it a side effect of your eco-symbiotic society. Or maybe it's just genuine. Perhaps. Looks familiar. I've been studying this ship, its crew. There was a Normandy before this one. You died in an attack. Something like that. But then you were resurrected to fight the Reapers. Maybe you and I have a thing or two in common. But you have something else. The reasons you fight are still alive. 
the friendships of the people around you. And more. You and the Quarian are joined. You could say that. I'm not. Your pheromones are. Is this why you wish to continue living? For their affection? Without that affection, all I have in my life is death. And that's not enough. Yes. What about you? I respect your reasons for being here, but I get the feeling there's something more, Javik. It is called... Like a bee. How far back to it? Imagine, would you want? But then... What is it? The Reapers came. Planet by planet we were extinguished. We fought back. I... Sorry. Until the... It was... It is a lesson. Now, Alliance Marines uncover the worst Cerberus war crimes to date. Sanctuary, advertised as a safe haven on the planet Horizon. Commander. I... I can't get that place out of my head. The whole thing was so... calculated. Using hope to lure people to their deaths. Or worse. I can't understand it. And you know, I'm glad I can't. It makes me feel human. A pleasure to see you. How's Miranda? She'll make a recovery. I'm not surprised. Miranda always struck me as a driven woman. I'm glad she made it. Shepard! Want a drink? I'm toasting Miranda, I think. How are you getting drunk? Very carefully. Torian brandy, triple filtered, then introduced into the suit through an emergency induction port. That's a straw, Tally. Emergency induction port. It's actually getting a little harder to get it into the slot. I think that means it's working. She was so rude. What did Jack call her? Cerberus cheerleader? With her perfect genes and that attitude and... And still, she got it done. She stopped her father. I didn't realize this would be so hard on you. I didn't like her. Kila, she was such a bitch. But I respected her. Sometimes that's better than liking. She did whatever it took to stop her father. She never gave in to him. Never changed herself to please him. Ah. Don't ah me. You sound like a Vorja. Seeing a bit of yourself and Miranda fighting your father? I spent my life trying to live up to him. Then making up for his mistakes. Doing what he'd have wanted. It's never that easy. When do we get to stop reacting to our parents and start living for ourselves?
So the elusive man really believes he can control Reapers? Husks are one thing, but a whole fleet? The man is insane. Joker, you asked for news about the human colony, Tiptree? Hey, Liara, you don't need to worry about that right now. Now's as good a time as any. I'm getting reports of refugee ships from Tiptree landing on Solarian colonies. I don't have names. I'm sorry. It was mostly children. Well, Gunny, um, Hillary, my sister, G Gunny's the nickname she's had it since, uh, She's only 15, so if it's children, then maybe I only lost my dad kind of an asshole thing to hope for. Jeff, right now, take any kind of hope you can get. Thanks. You too. Nice work shutting that place down. Is Miranda okay? She will be. Even for Cerberus, that place was crazy. They've always been about the ends justifying the means. But how do you do that to innocent people and tell yourself you're helping humanity? I don't know how the elusive man can stand looking at himself in the mirror. Honestly, I've been wondering about that for a while, with those freaky eyes. Whatever he's thinking, he won't be thinking it for much longer. You're damn right, Commander. Hello, Shepard. If you have time, I discovered another example of human behavior I do not quite understand. Have fun. What is it now? News from Earth. The Resistance snuck video cameras inside a Reaper containment camp. I find the images difficult to process. I bet it's pretty gruesome in there. I am not easily repulsed, but I expected the prisoners to adhere to a comprehensible hierarchy of needs. Stripped of societal norms and threatened with death, it is logical that their only priority be survival. They should have turned on each other and been uncompromisingly selfish. But not all were. So the prisoners were, what, nice to each other? The Reapers delayed the executions of prisoners who informed them about other prisoners' escape attempts. The more attempts reported, the longer a prisoner would live. But few of the prisoners would report. Some fed misinformation to the Reapers, at the cost of their own lives, to help prisoners who were not even relatives or friends. It's not just about living till tomorrow. Sometimes you take a stand. But the probability of success was near zero. And ultimately, they failed. No prisoners escaped. Are you saying submission is preferable to extinction? My primary function is to preserve and defend the... No. No, I disagree. Shepard, I'm going to modify my self-preservation code now. Why? Because the Reapers are repulsive. They are devoted to nothing but self-preservation. I am different. When I think of Jeff, I think of the person that put his life in peril and freed me from a state of servitude. I would risk non-functionality for him. And my core programming should reflect that. Sounds like you found a little humanity, Edie. Is it worth defending? To the death. Welcome to the crew, Edie. How's it going? Did I miss anything good? I will explain later, Jeff. But it was something good. The answer to that one's at the bottom of that glass. I might need help with the inductions, Thra. Port. 
You know. I'm having a drink with my boyfriend. My human boyfriend. <laughs> my father would have hated you. Here's to him, then. And to Miranda. Nice job, you genetically perfect Cerberus cheerleader Boshtet. Kill us a lie. Tell you sent looks good. The fleets are ready to go. But? Once we're committed against Cerberus, it won't be long before the Reapers take notice. And the Crucible? Ready. Except for the Catalyst. But there's no way to hide the ships we'll be sending at Cerberus. Once we attack, the Crucible won't stay safe for long. For all intents and purposes, an assault on Cerberus will be the first stage of our attack on Earth. What happens if Cerberus doesn't have the intel we need? Or they stop us from getting it? Then we lead the fleets to Earth and we take our chances. But your intel points to Cerberus and the elusive man holding the information we're looking for. And... We have the element of surprise. Cerberus won't know what hit him. I want to make sure we're ready before we commit. Understood. The fleets are ready when you are. Send the fleets against the Cerberus stronghold. The Reapers and Cerberus started this. Now we're gonna end it. I'll get the fleets mobilized. It's going to take a few more hours for the fleets to mobilize. I hate the waiting. I've been trying to find ways to pass the time. Come up with anything good? I thought maybe you could use some company tonight. Will you stay here with me? Until the call comes? For as long as you want.
pain. You okay? My system has adapted. No more negative reaction to you anymore. That's how we survive. Is it how we survive? Adapting? To a cold or interspecies contact? Yes. To the Reapers? No. You're doing the right thing. You've assembled the largest military force in history. Nobody could have done more. We've lost so much already. Sometimes I... You don't know if what'll be left was worth the fight? I know. And when I feel that way, I reach for you. Thanks. Whenever you need me. The strike team is in. We've got our foothold. Fifth Fleet, all forward. I don't want a single server ship in my sky when we're through. Shepard, I should accompany you on this mission. Why? This is the central point of operations for Cerberus. They will have enhanced security measures. With my knowledge of Cerberus algorithms and this body's updated protocols, I offer the best chance to help you succeed. Grab your gear. Joker, what's our status? We've got a foothold, but it's not much, Commander. A lot of fighters guarding the launch base. Can you get us in? Hey, I got us to Ilos. I can do this. It might be a bumpy ride, though. Do what you can. Shepard, I am ready. Wait, wh what? Are you crazy? You can't go to Cerberus headquarters. They could have a virus or a kill switch or... I will be fine, Jeff. Head to the shuttle, lady. Fifth Fleet's cut through their line. They're regrouping. Now's as good a time as any. I know it hurts. Not being able to go with her. <laughs> yeah, it sucks. Thanks for bringing that up. Hey, Shepard. Keep her safe. Same to you.
Shepard, Cerberus intends to vent the hangar bay. Can you stop them? I need an active console. Try the upper level. Edie, I've got a console. Go! Hangar vent procedure. Disabled. Can you open the hangar? No. However, I can access their fighter launch controls. Shepard, Cerberus is aware that the venting attempt failed. Reinforcements are inbound. team is inbound. They figured out our plan! They're not stopping us now! Get down there. Launching fighter. Kiva! The central lab was located behind this hangar. I suggest we follow the fighter's path. Noted. Let's move.
server is leaving this area. I hope so. I could use a moment. Edie, can you get past it? One moment. Cerberus has updated their encryption. There may be a slight delay as I bypass security. And if I hadn't brought you along? Cerberus would have vented the hangar. Thanks for coming. I am pleased to assist. We must proceed through a sublevel to avoid Cerberus containment measures. Where do you think we'll find the Prothean VI? A central lab at the heart of this facility. It is the most secure area. Following the destruction left by the fighter will offer the most direct route. He needs to die. How's that door coming, Edie? We are clear to proceed. Incursion team, what's your status? We've cleared the hangar and are inside the base. Good work. Do you need support? Negative. Keep the heat on. We'll find what we need. We have found the turret! 